Okay, today I'm going to show you how to go through the procedures of your graham cracker plate tectonic lab. Um, we'll show you step by step what you need to do and then when you need to answer, uh, fill out your lab form, lab document, graham uh, cracker lab. Uh, to determine the plate tectonics, you will need one complete graham cracker, just one. We'll break it up into the quarters as I've done here. One, two, three, four. Um, <clears throat> for your divergent boundary uh, demonstration, you will use one quarter graham cracker. For the convergent, you'll use two. And for the transform, you'll use one. Uh, then I will tell you when you need to uh, respond to questions and what you need to jot down. So, first things first. You need to jot down what your problem is. We want to demonstrate each type of plate tectonic boundary and what the movement causes. And so that's what you'll need to jot down in the problem question observation section um, of your lab form. The next one we're going to do is hypothesis. Um, so go ahead and make your hypothesis what you feel like uh, each one, each boundary will look like and what the movement causes. Uh, jot down something about each boundary, uh, what you feel like the movement is going to cause. Um, then, of course, you need to grab your graham cracker, break it up into quarters, get your beaker and a um, eyedropper so that you can have some water um, to uh, work these boundary uh, movements out. And then we're going to go ahead and go into uh, showing you how to do each one. Um, I'm going to let you uh, decide what your independent and dependent variables are there. You won't be graphing anything in this lab, but you need to jot down some things that you think are constant for each um, boundary and some things that um, might be different independent boundaries uh, are independent variables and dependent variables. I'm sorry. Um, so let's start off with a divergent. So we're going to get one graham cracker, move the other ones out of the way. Uh, you'll take your eyedropper, fill it all the way up, as much water as you can, and then you want to saturate the center of this cracker. I mean, give it as much water as you can, all in that eyedropper. I wouldn't do more than one eyedropper, but go ahead and just get it nice and saturated. What's going to happen is it's going to turn that middle one to mush, and then we're going to uh, be able to see you know, what happens. So grab... Um, either in, both in at the same time and slowly move apart and lift off the ground move apart and you'll see what happens notice as I pull it goes up a little vertical and so like something's pushing up underneath it because I grab the ends like this and put force back over here and they pull apart slowly um, notice it's not a clean break. You can see it's not a clean break. It's not going to be a clean break when it comes to land either. So when you see them splitting apart like that, you know some of this cracker half went over on this side and vice versa. So it's not a clean break. Okay, and that's divergent. So then it asks you to answer some questions. You will just answer the questions in your explanation for data section on the back of your page. And the first question it asks you for each uh, procedure, describe what happens and how the cracker looks. So that's what you need to do for the divergent. You know, when you pulled it back, they split apart. Um, you know, some of the cracker that should be with uh, this half actually ended up on this half, vice versa. Um, and that's kind of what we're looking at for the type, what the crackers look like. Okay. Um, but then you, you describe that, and then the next thing you need to do is for each procedure, describe what geological features plate tectonic movements will cause. And when you see this, you should remember rift valleys, which are volcanoes. Um, so whenever this opens, remember there's molten lava underneath. Um, so that lava comes up and causes volcanoes when you have divergent boundaries. All right, let's do convergent boundaries. Now what you're going to do on this one, Instead of doing the middles, you're going to do the end of both ones, uh, both graham crackers. You're going to have two halves. Saturate the ends really saturated. We want to make sure they're nice and saturated. I even go over to the side and make sure um, it is wet. Um, get another eyedropper. 
and cover this one. All right. Now, what we are going to do, we're going to slowly move these two together. Okay. And as we do, we'll see something happen, and that's what we need to determine. So, here we go. Okay, now, so notice, one of the graham crackers overlapped the other, all right? This is mountain uh, building, mountain formation, when you have two convergent boundaries. As it goes together, notice, this one goes up over the top, and now we have a mountain range. Um, so that is one of the features that is part of that. That's question two uh, for this procedure. Question one is describe what happens. One graham cracker overlaps the other as the graham cracker ends begin to mush together. Um, notice it mushes together and then one of them overlaps. There's some folding in there of the graham cracker and that's called folded mountains. And that's how mountain formations from folding. Um, so that's what you're looking at for the convergent boundaries. So clean that up, move it over to the side, and then let's look at transform. Okay, fill up an eyedropper for transform. You are going to saturate the center again, like you did on the divergent boundary. And nice and saturated, nice and saturated. Get it nice and wet so it's gooey. All right, now. You're going to take one end and move it up and one end and move it down. And you will see as you do that, they break apart. And as they break apart, they scrape each other and you hear a scraping sound. That's earthquakes. Okay, That resistance is earthquakes. Um, first thing. Uh, that's the answer to question two is earthquakes and transform. When you see these, uh, you look at them, they break apart. They're not, it's not a clean cut, right? They don't look perfect. It's not, it's not going to be that way. It's just the same way with these layers. Um, some of this graham cracker is on this other graham cracker when they break apart like that. All right. Clean up your mess. Uh, make sure the beakers and eyedroppers make them back over to uh, Mr. Raines' lab station um, and then uh, toss away your graham crackers uh, make a conclusion about you what you feel like each uh, boundary looks like to see whether and you address your hypothesis don't say my hypothesis was accurate say something like you know the data show that the hypothesis needs to be revised or the data shows that the hypothesis was accurate because that da 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 that's what we're looking for on those conclusions um, if you have any questions please don't hesitate to ask uh, Mr. Rames and turn in your lab at the end of the period thank you How fickle my heart and how woozy my eyes I struggle to find any truth in your lies And now my heart stumbles on things I don't know My weakness I feel I must finally show